What was the magnitude of Shams Tabrizi's influence on Rumi? What did Rumi lose? And more importantly, what did he gain in this spiritual transformation? Today, we will explore how love can make one person mad and how this madness could help one in their spiritual journey. گشت جان از صدر شمس الدین یکی سودایی در درون ظلمت سودا و را دانایی This poem is about one of the most transformative aspects of Rumi's life his meeting with Shams Tabrizi Shams was not just a regular teacher or a friend he was the mirror on which Rumi saw his own soul reflected. Shams was not an ordinary teacher or a friend. He was a mirror in which Rumi could see his own soul reflected. But this reflection was, did not bring peace. It brought chaos. A chaos that shattered Rumi's previous self, leaving him to rebuild his identity, not around reason or ego, but around divine love. یک بلندی یافت بختم از هوای شمس دین. Madness in Sufism is not a mental disorder. It is the selflessness that the mystic experiences on the spiritual journey. The individual becomes so absorbed into the divine love that they lose all sense of self. They forget their identity, their ambitions, and even their individual existence. This is the madness that Rumi speaks of. He is not losing his mind in the ordinary sense. He is losing the burden of ego, being intoxicated by something far greater, love. In this state of mystic intoxication, says Rumi, there is no longer a sense of high or low. Just as in love, where one becomes so absorbed that they cannot distinguish the ordinary categorizations. In this madness, all distinctions vanish. He is so absorbed that he cannot distinguish ordinary things anymore. What is high? What is low? What is good? What is bad? Rumi likens himself to a straw, drifting hopelessly on the waves of love. This is not a defeat, but a surrender. Life often feels like this, as if we are carried by forces beyond our control. But Rumi is teaching us to embrace this state. Let yourself float. Let yourself be carried by the current of love. That current knows where it's taking you, even if you don't. <laughs> Even reason, Rumi tells us, is powerless before the storm of divine love. It's like trying to stop a hurricane with a feather. And yet often, we cling to logic and logic alone, trying to stop the storms of life with it. But Rumi is teaching us that there is something far more profound in surrender. At such a spiritual state, when reason fails, love takes over. And it is precisely in that love that we go beyond theoretical knowledge. Interestingly, Rumi describes madness as a sacred scripture with its own verses. It teaches us truth that cannot be understood by mind alone. And in the face of this madness, conventional knowledge and scholarship fade away. This is why Rumi speaks of love as a thief. It robs you of everything you thought you know, only to give you something far greater. Love sneaks into the heart at midnight, stealing reason while it's asleep. But this is not a loss, but a liberation. With reason gone, the heart awakens to the truth beyond words. It is only when we let go of ourselves, when we are emptied of ourselves, that the divine light enters our hearts. So what did Rumi lose and what did he gain when he encountered Shams Tabrizi? He lost the comfort of conventional knowledge, the control of logic and his lower self. But what he gained was far greater. He found selflessness, 
freedom from ego, and a love that transcends all boundaries. Madness, in this sense, is not a curse, but a gift. It's a doorway to enter a life without fear, control, and beyond the limitations of reason alone. In the hospital of lovers, every soul is mad, and every corner holds a lover in ecstasy. Rumi shows us that this mystic madness is not something to fear. It is a sign that we are on the right path. It teaches us that we should go beyond stability. It teaches us to open ourselves to inner transformation. So the next time you find yourself in the middle of chaos, whether it is the chaos of love, loss or change, remember Rumi's message. It is in these moments of madness that we are close to discovering something far greater than our regular lives. What we think we are losing might just be what we need to let go of to reach what truly matters, to reach beyond our ordinary existence, an enlightened existence. When the storm of love settles, what remains? Rumi says each breath can be a rebirth, like Mary bearing Jesus Christ, and in longing we find both exile and grace. Join us in the next episode as we explore the rest of this poem and love's quiet miracles. If you're interested to learn whether Rumi and Shams Tabriz's meeting was a coincidence, watch this video. Thank you for joining us and we are looking forward to hosting you in our next episode.